What's up everybody, me Time Gamer here bringing you the fourth episode of Elevator Pitch Review, bringing you the quick positive and negative of a new game recently released. Let's get started with our next game, Virginia. Roll the intro! Before we get into the positive and negative, let's go through the quick details about the game. This game is available on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Personally, I played on PS4, and I would like also to mention thank you to uh, 505 Games for sending me the review copy of this game. This game was released on September 22nd, 2016. The developer of the game is Variable State, and the publisher is 505 Games. The genre of the game is a first-person mystery thriller adventure. ESRB rating is M for Mature. It is only a single-player game and can only be downloaded. Alright, let's get right into the positive of the game. Cool. Oh, I got my badge. The game offers well-written music that drives it forward and creates the proper atmosphere. The story is very captivating. The game uses scene jumps to offer a great new way of moving a story forward, which is not attempted by many other games. The game has a great art style. For our last positive of the game, the game has a creative narrative without a single spoken word. So without, within the whole game, there's not one single word and it actually works well in this game. Now on to the negative of Virginia. Hey, how much is this? I, I'm not gonna pay for this. So as I mentioned in the positive of the game, where the game has no spoken words, this does lead to a bit of confusion in the story at some times. Now saying that, the ending is a bit confusing because of the lack of word. Also, I do feel some of the walking in certain scenes are just added just to create length to the game, which is a bit unfortunate. The last negative in the game is there's a slight stutter in the FPS, but it's only on rare occasion, it's very minimum. You, you really have to really watch for it to actually see it, but it's very rare actually. Final verdict for Virginia, is by it. Virginia left me intrigued and also confused at the same time. The game kept my attention to the end with the fascinating music which builds the proper mood. The speechless game offers so much with so little. To get a better understanding of my review skill, visit the link metimegamer.com forward slash review dash guidelines. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me over at MeTimeGamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and right here at YouTube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. If you're listening to the podcast version of this, thank you so much also for downloading and listening to the podcast. I really appreciate it. And that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the fourth episode of Elevator Pitch Review. Now we'll see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.